Alpha, it's a new foil. So we started basically from the old foil and tried to improve on uh, all the areas. Um, so weight, stiffness, it's, it's a little lighter, it's, a, it's stiffer, spe specific in the front end with the 114 steerer. Uh, we improved the aerodynamic and uh, we integrated all the latest uh, technology like direct mount uh, brakes for the, for the front. It's stiff, it's, it's uh, really good braking performance and uh, it matches the aerodynamic features. Then we have the direct mount brake under the bottom bracket uh, um, to, to hide the, the brake as much as possible. And uh, one main feature of that is also to give the bike more compliance, uh, which was uh, not the best in the old foil. So we have really narrow, thin uh, seat stays, uh, and uh, the first riders that used the bike on the cobblestone sections here uh, were quite happy with the comfort of such a performance, uh, aerodynamic, uh, pure racing bike. We are not focusing on the most aerodynamic bike. We want to have an aerodynamic bike that is suitable for all year use and not just a specific bike for flat stages or something like that that is at the end too heavy, too soft. Or s um, all the other features must be maintained and then uh, we get as much aero into it uh, as possible. We have it uh, standard-wise built up with um, electronic group set with uh, the direct wing brakes. Uh, usually they ride uh, C50 wheels on it. Yeah, and most riders uh, those days are running with 25 mm Continental tires uh, to have enough comfort and safety on the road. We try to eliminate all the, the small features that were not perfect uh, on the old foil and combine uh, a lot from the addict and the old foil and then just go a step forward uh, to, to make it uh, all year high performance bike, not just pure for racing but also for normal consumers.